sir. My client's been off medication for 36 hours? Yes, of course. His staff should be bringing him in any minute now. Mr. Reardon, you requested this writ hearing. Yes, Your Honor. You're being incarcerated against your will. And Dr. Spatz, the uh, hospital recommends? Well, it's a perplexing case, Your Honor. I suspect an atypical psychosis, but um, I need more time to evaluate. 180 days additional. Wait a minute, wait. Well, considering the danger to his wife, yes. That's what I'd recommend. Mr. Reardon, you understand this is a legal proceeding. But I find it very useful if the patient testifies first. Your Honor, we prefer I'm glad to hear. That. You're saying that your wife created a character and identity so you would fall in love with her. Yes. And she was guided by your friend, this Norman. Yes. Who she slept with throughout your marriage at this um, hotel, Chanticleer. And she'd call him sometimes on the phone and pretend it was this um, fictitious girlfriend, Debbie. <laughs> This sounds so crazy, but I... no, 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 not at all. But um, the discovery of all this in such a short time made. I hit her. I've never done that before. And the, the idea that I pose some sort of permanent danger to her is just ludicrous. I understand. I think any of us making that sort of discovery. Uh, right. Now, let's see what the other side has to say. I'd like to call Dr. Steen, please. Dr. Steen, as Mrs. Reardon's psychiatrist, do you find that her husband poses a threat to her life? I thought so for some time. Mrs. Reardon has been seeing me for several years. And on many occasions, she's had visible and very alarming bruises. When I asked her about them, she said that her husband hit her. That's bullshit, Mr. Reardon. I've advised Lena frequently to go and see the police. So when this latest incident occurred... Your Honor, may I? Then Mr. Reardon's accusations about you and his wife. Look, I'm an asshole, Your Honor. Can I say that? All right, see, I've always been an asshole, but this? Even if Lena wanted me, well, I probably couldn't resist, to be honest. Once I could have. I mean, look at her. But to carry on this long? Ray is my friend. Besides, every Wednesday afternoon for the last 10 years, I've played golf. Oh, I brought some letters from my golf buddies. Some, uh... Mr. Then these bruises, have you seen them before? Sure. And are you aware of any other examples of violence, particularly towards women? No. <laughs> What was that? Um, Ray's first wife, Martha, when they broke up, he slapped her. I'm sorry. Your Honor, that was four and a half years ago. So noted, Counselor. And your name? Debbie Tribium. And what is your relationship? I'm just, uh, I'm a friend of Lena's from dance class. And she calls me on the phone sometimes. Have you met Mr. Reardon? Sure, uh, a couple of times. I had dinner there, uh, 
Once I drop by. Debbie, you work for a temporary agency. Excuse me? Do you? I own a cookie shop on the north side. Chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin. Okay, then describe the Reardon's apartment. Uh, it's a penthouse apartment with um, cathedral ceilings. Um, the living room is on the right, kitchen's on the left, and... All right. uh, Mr. Reardon, you're a distinguished architect without a blemish on your record. There's no history of any mental illness. I'm sane, Your Honor. You look sane, you sound sane, sir. But everything you say seems to be a delusion. Frankly, I'd like to believe you, but without a witness or some sort of corroboration. Your Honor, what about her bills? The hotel's Chanticleer every Wednesday. $133, $379. Mrs. Reardon? Your Honor, I went to this hotel Chanticleer, and um, I have a letter from the manager saying he's never seen me before, that I'm not the Lena Reardon he knows. Then who's responsible for these charges? I must have used that credit card once or twice and then lost it. Uh, I didn't realize it was missing until a few days ago. I called the company and they sent over copies of the charges if you'd like to compare signatures. Uh, that's not necessary. What? I'm sorry, Mr. Reardon. You're sorry? You're sorry? Relax. This is my life we're talking about. I'm aware of that, sir. And I'm doing you a favor. If you weren't in this hospital, your wife could have put you in jail. But, but, but see, that's, not, that's not what this is about. Come on. I mean, don't you see, see what she's doing? I mean, she's stolen my children. She's stolen my house. And she's manipulating you. Mr. Reardon, that's enough. Get your fucking hands off me. I'm warning you, sir. Oh, fuck you. All right? You've already made up your fucking... Very well, then. Proceed. Just watch it. You have no idea who you're dealing with. She lies to me, and she tells a different lie to you. I'd be happy to take a polygraph test. You're fucking right she'd take it. She'd pass, too. Some fucking machine. She is a machine. Mr. Reardon. I'm a machine. You married me. I married you, and I loved you, and you're fucking killing me. Your Honor, put it in one of Your Honor, please. please. Take this. Don't let us wear these in here. Get your fucking hands off me. Look at 